starting up now. Okay. Hi, everyone. This is Peculiar, and this is our Chaos Weekly Sync Practice. 17th October 2023. So here today in the Chaos Meeting, before we go ahead, thank you for joining the meeting and thank you for having me as your first. I'm standing in for Elizabeth. I am Peculiar by name. All right, before we move to the agenda, um, just say a few housekeeping. Um, if you're just joining us for the first time, make sure you um, go through Cures for the Conducts so you can be familiar with all we do at Cures. And if you've been there, have been with us for a long time, we know we actually know what to do. So thank you so much. Um, the meeting link has been shared on the chat session. So feel free to go through that as we, I open it up over here to share with you. Okay. I'll be sharing my screen. Uh, give me some minutes. That is coming up. You want me to share the minutes, Peculiar? Oh. Okay, I'm sharing from my end. All right, if you want to do that, that's okay. That's okay, sir. Yeah, I don't, yeah, okay. Doing it. Yes. Oops. I'll make it less wide so it fits on smaller screens. Okay. All right, so you can go to an agenda. We have what current facts about you, the, add your name, what current facts about your life would most impress, impress your five years old self. I can see a lot of us are feeling that already. That's awesome. So let's keep it coming. Okay, for agenda today, we're going to look at uh, infograph of your community inclusivity so very so, so I let me find out who added that so I can hand it over to you to anchor that. Okay, who is stepping back I put it on the agenda because it was on the um oh no I take it back I didn't put that on the agenda somebody else did. Oh is this uh is this what I should click on? Let's oh, see if I can make okay. that bigger. Oops. Okay. So this is the place you are. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. It looks that like it's something that Matt created and he's not here. Okay. I see. I see. But is anybody that have anything to say about that infograph for Chaos Community Inclusivity so there? So this is the inclusion playbook for starting our starting your own community. Okay. Yeah, I guess I just oh sorry, Dom. Go ahead. Um, I just wasn't sure what the medium of sharing this is. Like I'm assuming if they're QR codes, that means it's a printout versus like on a web page where I would expect there to be links or like URLs. I just didn't like I don't know how it's going to be used, so it's a little harder to give feedback on it. Um, but also now I'm just curious what this link takes us to, because I would love to review our survey now. <laughs> and I think I took it, but I'd like to see it again just to see what we're sharing with the community. If I remember correctly, I think this is actually something completely different. I think, um, I think the purpose of this is to help communities create their own community inclusion survey. So I think it's sort of a template for other people to create surveys to better measure DEI for their community. So I'm assuming that that QR code will take them to the, the survey template. Yeah, me too. I left my phone at my other desk, but I can run and get it if no one else has one handy. 
I also don't have a phone. Thank you. Yeah, right back. <laughs> no, I got one. Oh, okay. Look at me, just scanning random QR codes on random sites like a rebel. Yeah. Um, <laughs> living, living dangerously. So right now, this uh, it looks like this takes you to this the chaos survey that we did, the chaos DEI survey, I think, the chaos okay. community survey. When I try to open it, it opens a Google Doc with HTML text. It's really weird. Oh. I see HTML. No, I just get a Google Drive link. Yeah. But it's an or it's an HTML page, but it's showing the HTML code to me. Weird. Is, it, is this a thing where it's opening in an app or trying to open in a page? And it might be like a, like an oh, it, it, problem. That's a good point. It opened mine in Google Drive on my phone. Yeah, if I hit open in Google Drive, then it shows the HTML yeah. rendered. So maybe that's feedback you we can have for, for Matt and around. Yeah, maybe we, this needs to be in a format that's more generally accessible. Mm -hmm. um, if you don't have Matt on your phone. I'm going to mute. Be fine. Oh, sorry. I muted Katie because there was some noise coming from her line. Yes, that was fine. So I'll drop that link in chat. Great. Okay, so everyone, the link is on the chat. Feel free to go through it. If you have any comments or suggestion you want to make concerning that, you're free to raise that up. Hey, Sean, the left-hand side of your screen is cut off. Can you just scroll a little bit? Oh, I see what, oh, yeah, I have a... I have a giant wide monitor that's my computer treats like two separate screens. Yeah, so perfect. Thank you. Put it in the middle. We probably just need to bring this agenda item back to the next meeting when Matt can talk about it. Because I think at this point yeah. we're kind of guessing at what this is and what kind of feedback he's looking for. That would be awesome. Is there a? Um, I guess where I it's question. not what's not clear to me is um, what the audience is for this. Is it for a blog post or is it for a handout? That's my point. Without Matt here, we're yeah. just kind of guessing at what he was looking for. Okay. Okay, as that is going on, think if you have anything you might want us to discuss in this meeting, so feel free to add it in agenda and we will take it up when we get to that. Okay, so we're moving over to the next night I see in the agenda. Education community. Okay, you can come to make office. Okay, um, when I do that in agenda, would you want to take it up? And you can come to make something. Um, okay, either way, do you want to add that up? In the agenda. No, I wasn't. I'm guessing oh. it was shot. Yeah, I, I, um, I guess while uh, 
Well, I was at Asphology. There was a okay. poll for a meeting that I couldn't be at on Thursday. And so I'm just wondering if there are any updates on what the education oh. committee or task force accomplished, if there's oh. anyone here from, oh. from that organization. Okay. Did you so, start recording, okay. by the way, Don? Um, yes, it's, it's been recorded, Don. Yeah. Okay, cool. I couldn't remember. Okay, yes. I was in the meeting. We held the meeting with Elizabeth. Uh, I, you got an um, Elizabeth. Okay, from the previous, um, I think I need to add that doc here. Okay, thank you, Diga. The doc is on the, on the chat session. Um, okay, awesome. That's it. Okay, okay, so, um, we went through what was discussed before, before that day, and, uh, we made some progress. Uh, in the progress, we looked at what our actually we're looking for in the for the education uh, onboarding courses. What do we want them to know about as the newcomers onboarding and coming into peers? And then we have some areas and what we needed uh, to focus on. So um, we got the the point uh, where we agreed to have create a new repository for the education which was done that day and uh we look at the task to what how can we go about getting recorded video like introduction to peers because those are some education and some information we want to pass across to uh newcomers joining to peers but we want to put this uh into videos for them to make just join go through the video and know exactly what to do and how to navigate to the community and different projects we're working on. So we gather all those information and we're going to put them on creative form to look for, uh, ask for individuals to volunteer to record the video, a walkthrough video of maybe the project you're working on or the project you created so that that would be straightforward for uh, a novice, a new, a newcomer to be able to watch it and go through, navigate through the project and be able to know what to do. And we decided to collect create a form which Yuga was assigned to do as you can see on the, on the uh, agenda and which she has also done a form to get people that would be interested to record this video for us. Then we also decide we have the editors to look through all the video that will be recorded and then um, edit them to make it uh, 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 easy and uh, just straightforward for everyone to uh, be able to listen to and know what to do. Then we also, everything we needed to do, I have added it on the spreadsheet, which is just uh, 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 easy for everyone to understand. And we're going to, while we look at the the form and then agree on that is okay, we can feel free to then try it out to everyone uh, to register their interest. Uh, so that's mostly what we were we able to do. So key things, the projects uh, have been created on the flag a community on GitHub for education where we create issues for everything we need to do. Then the form has been created and the sheets also were created for all the tasks that we need people to do. And then we're also going to create a, a, a project board so we can be able to uh, assign those that we can interest in helping us to record those videos. Uh, it's assigned a task to them and then follow up with those stuff. So that's actually the summary of what was discussed in that meeting. Okay. The one uh, the one sort of over go ahead. Yeah, I'm just saying people to ask questions. The the overarching question when we met two weeks ago and I wasn't able to be here next week because I was at an astrology meeting in Germany, um, was what the scope of the education effort is. And there was we were I think at that time we were uncertain about whether we would be focusing on open source education more broadly or open source education sort of firmly grounded in the chaos community. And 
I'm wondering if, if that general big question was discussed or if yes, there's we, if we landed anywhere there. Yes, we looked at that and we, we also discussed that that we're going to uh have both of them. So it's not just um only for Kyot, or it's going to be there's some part that will be a general open source the uh, this question is open source and then all that will have to do with uh what we do at Kyot uh open source. Uh, you got, do you have anything to add to that? No, oh I, I... Okay, you think you're trying to say something? Oh no, I said I don't have anything to add. I think that you've covered everything. Okay. So, thank you. Okay, Shane, is that clear to you? Or you have more questions? That that's helpful. I, I was just uh you know looking for the update. Okay. okay. So I think I think that um. That that would be that's all. Uh, all right. Okay, um, we also have, I must have seen on the um, the agenda, we have a project badge and object. Um, I don't know who I did that and who I, I wanted I, to do that. Yeah, I saw, I saw that there was a little bit of that in the last meeting uh, mm -hmm. last week. And I'm, I'm also curious if the web, if the website is up for it and fully functional and redesigned or if we're, uh, are we still waiting on that? And if there's a sort of target date? Okay, I think uh, who um who will be able to give us that update is precious or others working on uh budget project. I, yeah, I don't know if there's anybody even on the call. Yeah, um, of course, it's working on the budget project. You can keep it to give us an update on what's if the website is up or the stage of the the website. Yeah, it doesn't actually doesn't look like nobody on the call that I recognize is involved in that. So uh okay I don't need this here. Yeah I'm just gonna go look at uh the website and okay. see see how it goes. That that's a question. So I feel like oh, I don't know you're here. I don't know Do you want to check this up? To tell us what? Okay, he is in charge of the of the website design. So I don't know Please take picture of details on that. Hi um hi everyone. So uh I'm I'm part of the team on the um badging website, and before this meeting we we had a call. With um, with Kingsley, where we onboarded um Joseph and uh, and Victoria to the project. So um, currently because of we 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 already we have um projects or other projects we are working on for um October first, and because of so many issues we have to attend to, we've assigned um someone um permanently to to that. So that we are there are three of us now who are going to be reporting to Kingsley. Joseph is going to be the main person um for the um the for the badging project. So up updates are going to be coming um weekly now. So for 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 the designs, the designs, the the main issues we have right now currently are, are the mobile responsiveness. Those, that's what we are working on. But for the development part, I I don't know if there's any feedback on on that yet. But for for the designs, we have issues with the uh, mobile responsiveness and we've not had like um, volunteers who, who have been active recently so that's just what has been um, delaying us but apart from that nothing more i have been assigned to Afos right now because there's no one there and kingsley has a lot on his on his plate so joseph is joseph is currently on the call but um as from next week there are, there are going to be updates coming in and we'll be we'll be giving you um, feedback 
I will say that. Okay, great. I mean, I just, you probably saw on the screen, I just went through some badging and all of the little issues that had existed uh, a week ago don't exist anymore. So that's super promising. And uh, the only thing I noticed is um, Enac and I still need to get that shared email set up. Um, and the flow seems to be going really well right now. Um, I do think uh, the only other thing I'd add is if uh, uh, there's probably a little bit more narrative that we require about um, what's happening and explaining the badging, but we had discussed that last time. Sorry, do you mean when you talk about narrative? Do you mean in terms of design or in terms of design? no? The, just the text, like some of the, we were going to have some text that really explained badging a little bit more thoroughly on there. Oh, you're talking about the copies? Yeah, more yeah, copy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, sorry, same word. Uh, I I I reach out to to Kingsley. I I'm 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 I, I was mostly working on the UI, the components, yeah. creating buttons. And functionality, basically. And I so think I'll, Kingsley I'll... and Matt was Matt was going to help with that too. So that looks we... it looks really good. It looks really really good. A few small things here to work on. Thank you. If if Matt could if Matt could help us, it, it would be really nice because when when it comes to copy, it, it, it's best when someone basically just works on it because copy copy takes a lot of time and require, requires a lot of attention to like summarize and make it easier. Sorry, I'm just stating your yeah. principles basically. Yeah, yeah, no, and then that's so, I mean, I think it's getting, it's getting basically the shared email and the little bit of more, a little bit more text and I think it's uh, looks ready to go to me. All right. Um. Thank you. Do, do you require any more, any more feedback, no. any more questions, no. Peskilia? No, I just wanted to update the community. This is a really exciting initiative. All right. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, everyone. Okay. Yeah, your hand is up. You want to say something else? No. No. I'll, I'll drop it down now. Ah. Uh, okay. I see. Okay. Um, Sean, do you have another thing? Anybody with any other thing who might want us to discuss in this meeting? Okay. That's all we have in our agenda today. And after that, the next one is for, the next 30 minutes is for those uh, that are part of our uh, first come planning committee is a part of them. You might, might stay back, but if you're not part of them, we feel free to drop off the meeting. For those in Pios, for Pios uh, com committee to continue with the rest of the meeting. So thank you everyone for joining. And I can't remember, do we stop recording for the chaos con planning meeting? Yes, it has stuff worth having. Oh, yeah, thank, thank you. you. Okay, I will do that.